Hi, Facebook. How's everyone? What's up, Jill? Hey, thanks for sending your pictures. I loved, love them. I was inspired. I, I'm always inspired when I see other people's paintings. So thank you for sharing those with me. And hey, Damien. Yes, this is my sensational painting. <laughs> so, okay, hi everyone. Thanks for joining us for Painting for Positivity. If you're new here, this is a way to um, just, we wanna encourage social distancing, but unfortunately this is going to be the last week that I'm doing this on the News West 9 page. I know a lot of businesses are starting to open up again. So um, yeah, it's gonna be the last week here. But if, but I don't know, maybe I'm thinking of doing more just on my news page, so. Um, it's, it's been really fun, but yeah, just bear with me for this week and then that's gonna be the last time I bother y'all with these Facebook Lives. I know, I know, but okay. So this is a fairly easy painting. Um, if you've never painted before, you can watch this video later, paint along, or if you just wanna watch, you can just watch. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna start with just a blank canvas. I added a circle here. I just got a cup and then uh, drew around it. So this is gonna be my moon, okay? So basically I'm going to just put some blue on here. This is just a ultramarine blue. Okay, then I'm just using a flat brush and I'm going to paint around my canvas. This is really intense music. This is <laughs> uh, the City of Prague Philharmonic Orchestra. It's the Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, they're doing the soundtrack. I've actually been enjoying it. It's been a while since I've watched uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, but. Okay, so just get this royal blue. Make sure you get it all the way across. I usually do prefer to get little tubes like this. It's just better than the um, the standard bottles that they typically come in. They come, they look more liquidy when you're painting. Let's just say that. Then make sure you get the sides. So the goal here is just to paint around this. And you want to make sure it's um, it's a big circle. You don't want to do a little uh, circle because you want your moon to kind of stand out. And that's where we're going to do the silhouette of the, uh, the ship in front of it. Has anyone been to Disneyland like back in the 90s when they had that pirate ride before they turned it to Pirates of the Caribbean? I was so confused, but then I totally forgot it was Disney. I think it was either Disney or Disney World, I don't remember. It wasn't bad though. It's so weird how the animatronics look exactly like Johnny Depp. So I'm just adding a few coats on here because I don't really want to see this mark here. Some of the canvas is peeking through. Okay. 
So after I'm done with that, I'm going to I'm going to add a little more to the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to add some white. Okay, I think this is all dried up. I have to load up on my whites because it's the color I do tend to use the most. Okay, dip a little bit in the blue. I mean, in the white. I haven't washed off my brush yet because I still want some of the blue to stay on there. Okay, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm kind of putting the outline of where my ocean is going to be. Now I'm going to go in some of the black and then I'm going to paint. I want the bottom to be as dark as possible. Okay, and then I'm going to blend all of this in a second. And I get a lot of questions on what kind of paint I'm using. I would say if you're a beginner, um, try acrylic first. I feel like I do have better control when I'm using acrylic um, as opposed to oil. Plus it's cheaper. Oil's a little, ex it's not expensive expensive, but um, I don't really like to use it because it's a wet type of paint takes a while to dry. I kind of like my paintings to be dry immediately. Okay, now I'm going to go back and just kind of, like there's this patch right here. Some of the canvas is peeking and I don't want that. Okay, and then this is gonna kind of appear to be like a grayish tint, bluish gray. So just keep doing that. Okay, now I'm gonna paint it because once you paint it, this will, or dry it, because this will make it easier to add an additional coat. <laughs> It's not completely dry when I do that, but it does dry a little more, and it really depends on how much coat you're applying to your canvas. So make sure when you do your ocean, it's not completely black. You do want to add some tints of blue on here. Just make sure it's fully blended. And I'm just doing white on top. Just add more blue on here, and then we're gonna get started on the moon. Okay, 
And I'm gonna have this drag down a little bit. And the reason why is because I kind of want to have like a shade of the reflection of the moon a little bit, but we're gonna highlight it in white after. Okay, so now let's get started on the moon. So I'm just gonna go for it. Instead of the palette, just go straight to the canvas, add some white, and I'm gonna use a different brush. So you're probably like, why are you painting it white if it's already white? Because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add just hints of gray on there because the moon isn't just completely white. And I wouldn't focus too much detail on how you do it because it is gonna be covered up with the ship. So just be careful how you paint the sides. So now that I have that white, I'm just gonna dab some black here. Not too much, but while the paint is still wet. And you kinda want it to be subtle. You don't really wanna have, um... hey Steven. Glad you're joining us. Hey, John. Yeah, you want it to be subtle. You don't want to have like a very harsh black line in here. And there's just kind of this buildup of some of this white, so I kind of want this to blend out. Otherwise, you're just gonna get this really big clump of white, and you don't want that. You wanna be careful on what kind of brushes you do use. Hey, Mickey, it's okay. Kinda, um, not halfway there, but you know, slowly getting there. Okay, so I'm just kind of tapping here, right? You don't want it to look like that. Those are harsh lines. So what I'm doing um, off camera, I'm just washing my brushes in between and drying it with a towel because you don't want to have excess uh, water on your canvas. Okay, so this paint is pretty wet. I'm just gonna cover up the edges here. Wow, Jolena, that's a really ugly moon. I know, I know it is, but that's okay. In the famous words of Bob Ross, we uh, make happy accidents. Okay, I'm gonna dry this up a little bit, not too much, just just a little bit. Hey, Robert. Okay, just a little bit. I don't want to add too much. So what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna smooth the sides a little bit. a thicker white. This 
So are y'all excited for professional sports to come back? I know they said no fans in the stands for right now, but everyone likes sports. I'm sure everyone's so excited about that. So here I'm just doing a lot of tapping. Oh, don't worry, I, I swear I always get my days mixed up too. So right here, what I'm doing now is some of the blue from the blue paint is uh, kind of fading in this moon and I don't want any tints of it. Okay, so let's say I'm happy with this. Okay. I think I've had enough of Cornhorn Championships. <laughs> oh man, that's what everyone is playing. Okay, so using my paint toothbrush, this is what I use when I'm trying to do stars, okay? I'm gonna smear some of this and then flick. Oh, that did not come out good. It's okay, I'm gonna go over it. And I'm actually really bad at cornhole. I don't know, my hand-eye coordination is just really bad. Okay. Okay, so let's say that I'm content. Now I'm gonna touch up on, let's see, where's my black? My black is right here. But I do want some of this white to kind of blend in with this ocean right here while it's still wet. Okay. So once you have that done, now it's time to add your ship. So I'm gonna, for the ship, I think I'm gonna use a, which brush do I wanna use? I might use this flat brush right here. So let me go into some of the black. So picture like a, kind of like a, a, a diamond shape. I don't need this. Okay. I just wanna make sure y'all see this. Okay. So I'm gonna start out in the middle. Picture like a diamond right here. Okay, I'm just gonna show you the basic shape so I feel like this would be the easiest way to explain. Um, okay, so something like that. Then you're gonna round out because I kind of want it on the water, maybe a little. And I'm gonna round out this part right here.
okay? Okay, now after, actually I'm gonna make this a little thick. I said thick, I meant wider. <laughs> Make sure they're even. You want this to curve. You don't necessarily want it to uh, be straight. Okay. Okay, now, so I'm gonna go back and forth in my black. And then I'm going to have this line that kind of goes down. This is going to be your guide whenever you start adding the, uh, the mast. Okay, the next part. You're, you're gonna kind of go crazy with some of these lines. So. You do one line across. Make sure it's even on both sides. Do another line, just a small one. Okay. Then I'm going to do a wider one. Simona, hi. Oh, I miss you. I haven't seen her in so long. Okay, for this part, I'm going to widen this line here. Okay. Then I'm going to add another one. I wouldn't even worry about I wouldn't even worry about the spacing between each of them. Okay, so when you're doing the mast, you're gonna create these little like half a semicircle on some of these lines, okay? Just to give the illusion that it's rolled up. Three here. So you see how I'm doing that? I'm just kind of even making this even on both sides. Okay. 
right now I'm just going to extend this line right here. So you're not done yet. You have to add kind of the, um, I don't know what you call them. These strings that go down the netting. It's like math. What you do to one side, you do to the other. You're going to add a bunch of them, not just one or two. Then I'm going to do some diagonal lines right here. I'm just adding a little triangle to the front just to kind of give it more shape. Okay, now what I want to do is get some of this white paint. Let me use a different brush. Okay. I'm going to dip into some of the white like this, not too much. Here's where you're going to kind of add some of the reflection in the water. Just tapping. <laughs> I had to get in the mood, Charlie, so I had to put Pirates of the Caribbean playing. So I don't want to add too much in the middle, but just kind of drag some of this white here.
add more white here, just a little bit. I'm gonna go back with my flat brush, go into some of the black. I'm just gonna bring that up, create, make it like a, an even taller point. Let's see. There you go, you got your little old pirate ship. So I hope that was fairly easy to uh, follow. But um, anyway, yeah, just a reminder, this is gonna be the last week we do Painting for Positivity. Friday's gonna be the last day, so stay tuned for tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, we're gonna have more paintings. So three more paintings, guys, three more paintings. But uh, this is good news, that just means Texas is slowly reopening. Okay, bye y'all, happy Tuesday, and I'll see you tomorrow.